Good morning, Hot Tots. Welcome back to my channel. So I am mixing some BCAAs, putting it in my water bottle, and then we're out the door to go to Orange Theory. Um, I'm debating if I want to take some pre-workout because I'm sleepy, but we got to hurry, so let's go. Ollie is eating his morning turkey treat. Okay, I ended up mixing just a tiny bit of pre-workout, like literally a third of a scoop. Just for a little wake up. I only want to do a little bit sometimes because I want a cup of coffee and I'm just one of those people like I won't have a lot of pre-workout and then also have a coffee later because it just stimulates me too much and I get angry. <laughs> Does that mean I have anger issues? I don't know. I may hit up the Kroger after. All right, just got done. About to head into Kroger and get some things and then we'll get back to the house, but whew. I'm tired. I've gone every day this week. Today's Thursday and I'm going Friday too. See this? 70 bucks. Like it's, it's getting out of control, you guys. Got a lemon squeezer and some lemons. I've been wanting to get a squeezer so I just went and grabbed one today. And I got some lemons because I'm actually making some spooky drinks for the Hocus Pocus movie coming out this Friday. I'm going to my girlfriend's house and we're making drinks. So that's also why I got these sparkling waters in the club soda. I'm going to grab this like vampire vodka, which will be fun. Um, but anyways, I got some light string cheese for extra protein. These have, I think nine or six grams per, um, stick and it's only 50 calories. So I've been trying to do higher protein, as you guys know, like 110 grams of protein a day. Also got these as well. Um, I got these for our dessert for me and one of my girlfriends, um, for the spooky night. Got some buffalo chicken breast strips. They were already out of blackened Tyson strips, which made me so sad, but I love these with my dill pickle salad. I got some roasted red pepper hummus, same thing. Oh, I meant to get a cucumber. Oh, well. I grabbed one more avocado. I'm gonna instantly put this in the refrigerator. And then two things of sourdough bread. They come in like these smaller containers. I got smaller bread this time. Um, so if I want two pieces, I can have two, but if I want one, it's only 80 calories. I always weigh each piece of bread because sometimes like this says 32 grams is a serving. If it's under that, sometimes I can get less calories from my bread. <laughs> so I always weigh those out. And then of course, some Coke Zero and some Diet Coke. Okay, I did my hair and makeup for my last video, which you guys will see on Monday. This will be Thursday's video. And now I'm heading down to make some breakfast. But before we make breakfast, this cute sweater was from a cup she haul today. I'm gonna go ahead and insert that here so you guys can see all my new fall clothes from cup she. Everything is under $31. I checked it all out. I say under 50 in my video, but like I'll try to bleep that out with editing because it's under $31. What? So my code is D15 for 15% off. And they also have like a huge sale going on right now. So make sure to check that out. But I love working with Cup Sheet. Remember my code is D15 for 15% off $65 plus, which is so easy to do. You get like three things for $65 though, which is awesome. They're a beachwear brand, but they also have dresses, sandals, and fall clothing. They're always down with the latest trends, okay? They range from sizes extra small to 4X and they have swimsuits up to 70% off, but they do now have a cup sheet app. I guess like, I mean, I've heard this everywhere lately. All these um, clothing brands are now going to apps, which is really nice. And they have exclusive deals through the app. So you'll get up to 80% off select items on the app. And then you can get a 20% off, I think, code or discount if you spend $105 on the app. So there are additional discounts and stuff if you download the Cup she app. Just wanted to say that, but without further ado, let's get into the video. Hey everyone, and welcome to the Cup she portion of today's video. They sent me a lot of fall items and I'm so excited to do a fall haul, y'all. <laughs> Anyways, I'm really, really excited to show you guys these different items. It is so exciting when you find clothes that are affordable and cute and good quality to then have for fall, especially with seasonal clothing. It's so hard sometimes when you see a sweater that's $60, $70 and you're like, what if I don't like this next year? These clothes range, nothing is higher than $30 here. And I'm just so obsessed with all of their clothes that they sent me and I can't wait to show them to you. So without further ado, 
First up is this shacket. I absolutely love it because it is lightweight. So for all my Texas, Florida girlies, this is a great shacket for you because of the fact that it's not super hot. It's pretty thin material. Um, so you're not gonna be sitting there sweating as much. I'm already sweating, but you know what I'm saying. So even for me in Ohio, I love that it, when a shacket is not super, super thick. So that I can wear it either as a shirt, which I think would look really cute in this instance, just tuck it in, a little front tuck, wear with some brown, I guess you can't really see me super well, wear it with some brown booties. I think that would look really cute for fall and just have it open, maybe put some gold jewelry on. You guys know how I love gold jewelry. You can open it up and actually wear it as a true shacket. I know us girls love saying shacket, jacket, sweater, get it, shacket. So if you open it up, you could always like, I have a bodysuit on, you could always just wear it open, super, super cute. Add your purse, be ready to go. Love this, it's super, super soft. I'm wearing size large. I could have definitely done a medium. So if you don't want super oversized, I'd say size down, but I like the oversized look. I think it's super cute and I love this. I know I'm gonna wear this a lot. Here is shacket number two. This is such a soft material, felty material. I forget what this material is called. I love this material. It's so comfortable, so soft. I thought that this looked really cute with just some big, like, you know, butt kicking boots. And you can keep it closed and have it on full body like this. Do a little front tuck like we love. We love the front tuck. That would be really, really cute. Or again, you can wear it as an actual shacket and wear a bodysuit underneath, which I like to do all of the above. And what's nice is if you wear a bodysuit or tank top underneath, you can kind of switch up your look throughout the night, you know, as you get hotter. <laughs> That's what I like to do, because again, I run hot. So you can open it up like this and just have it as a shacket. Super, super cute. It doesn't have any lower pockets, but it does have these up at the top. Again, it's so soft and comfortable. It will cover your booty. So if you wanted to wear like black leggings, I think that would also be really, really cute with some booties. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I'm obsessed with this. And it's really, really oversized. So you can like roll up the sleeves. Again, I got a size large. If you didn't want it super oversized, you could size down, but I think true to size is what keeps it like the style, you know? <laughs> This is, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. Like, should I wear this today? I'm going on a date night. <laughs> Next up, we have this beautiful slinky. I want you to see like the colors in it. Isn't that pretty? It's really, really soft. I, it does go off the shoulder like a boat neck. So if you don't want your uh, strap showing, you could always wear a strapless. I just always wear my hair down. So I never like really worry about it. <laughs> I love this top. It's flowy enough to where it's not sticking to my stomach. And I also have my bodysuit underneath here. So I like that it's not sticking to my tummy because that's one thing with shirts like this that seem kind of like slinkier and smaller. I worry that like my fat will show. <laughs> so if you're worried about that size up one, but this is my true to size large and I love it. It doesn't stick to my back either. And then if you actually pull it out, it is pretty long. Um, so again, if you wanted it to wear it with leggings, you probably could, I would probably still wear it with like a pair of jeans just because when something's pretty slinky, I like to wear it with something more structured, but I just think this is so freaking soft. This is so nice to wear. If you're going over to like a friend's house or out to dinner, you want to look nice, but you want to be comfortable. This is such a great option and it's such a pretty color. I just want to give myself a hug. <laughs> this is definitely like a fall little shoulder shrug. I always call it like a shrug. Is that what they're called? I don't know. I love the orange for October. And what's funny is I actually put this on backwards by accident. So I put it on this way up and then notice that the tag was the other way. <laughs> and you can wear it either way because it looks the same. It's just where you want the color. So I think I would wear it this way because I like more of like that bright color towards the bottom but you could wear it either way, which I thought was so cool. I thought this piece would be something that was a little different for me and it is, but when I wear it down like this, it's actually perfect because it gives that little bit of fall, a little bit of pop of color, but it's still very fall, very cute. You could wear this out with your girlfriends. You could wear this shopping. 
you know, you can wear this over a dress if you wanted to, if you have like any plain dresses or with a pair of jeans or leggings, like obviously everything, everything can go with leggings. Okay. Remember that. Again, I got a size large. I just think this is really cute. And I really liked it the opposite way. At least where the tag was at the top, I think was this way. I took the tag off, so now I'm like, was it this way? I don't know. Either way, you can wear it both ways, whichever way you prefer, which I find very nice. And then you can wear this even twice in one week if you really want to. This neck shirt, I absolutely love. It gives a cold shoulder vibe. I'm obsessed. It's super long. So again, you could wear this with a pair of leggings, which I think is what we all love and hope for. For depending on our mood, do we want something tight on? Do we not? Everything here so far, it seems we can wear with both. So love that for us. I like to front tuck this, but you can keep it open if you want. But I feel like if you're wearing some structured cute jeans, you could always just front tuck. And how cute! This, I'm obsessed with this shirt. I'm wearing it with brown booties and a brown belt, but you could do black as well. That's what's great about the color cream. But it's just so comfortable. Again, I'm wearing my bodysuit underneath, so I do think you need to wear a nude bra or maybe a tank top underneath if you don't want like, you know, anything showing through here. Um, but I'm obsessed and then it covers your little bra straps. You guys, look at us, look at us for fall. Again, wearing size large, I think it's true to size. Again, it's oversized, it's supposed to have that fit and like, who wants something tight? Not me. I love this next top, you guys. And I think I love it more with my dark hair. This is a striped top. I actually have two striped tops today. Paired it with some black pants and some black little booties. It has a dark stripe at the bottom, but it kind of goes a little tighter at the bottom. So you can fluff it up wherever you want it. If you actually pull it all the way down, it would cover about to your mid butt. But I think it looks better a little fluffed up. Looks so cute. You could wear it up, you know, front tucked again. Um, I'm obsessed with this top. I just think it looks so cute. I love the neckline. Like usually I think this stuff's annoying to me, but I actually don't mind it. It's not super tight. It's not bugging me at all. I, I mean, I'm just obsessed with this top. Sorry, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. <laughs> I'm checking myself out right now. Okay. If you really wanted to front tuck it to show your belt, you could. And I think that looks really cute too. Just got to keep the line straight if you have OCD like me. Even though the stripes are going this way, I feel like it just something, whatever it does with the eye, I feel like I feel and look thinner in this top. We love this top. We all need this top and we'll wear it together. Only thing I would say with this one is block your head if you have makeup on when you take it off. <laughs> oh yeah, this is comfortable. So soft, so long. This is the perfect leggings top. I would wear this with leggings, not these jeans. <laughs> Like it looks fine with these jeans, but like leggings is where this is at. Super long, super, super soft. So comfortable, love the green color. It's, oh my gosh. This is where it's at this fall because we're just, the comfortability is there. It This is a size large. I probably could have done a medium if I don't want it as oversized, but I love this. It's so pretty. It's not like right up on your neck so you can wear some cute jewelry. <laughs> Oh, it's so pretty. And it's really long, it goes past my hands. Like, you know, in grade school when you had to go like this to make sure your shorts were long enough? Oh, was that just me? <laughs> I did grab two stripe options so that if you don't love that around your neck and you like more of a stark white instead of a ivory, this would be the stripe top for you. So this goes off like a little boat neck here. And then it's striped, this one as well kind of comes in at the bottom, but not as much as the other. The bottom is white instead of black like the other one. You could wear it out. Again, you could front tuck. Super, super cute. It goes to about like the top of your butt, so it's not super long. Um, it's so comfortable, so soft, so pretty. But yeah, this is more of a stark white, whereas this was an ivory, as you can see. So whatever your preference is, you know, this has more of a higher neckline, this doesn't. And this is more white, white instead of the ivory. But I just thought this was so cute. And of course I had to get it because I love stripes. Like, are stripes my thing? Ugh. Last but certainly not least is this beautiful jacket. 
very lightweight, very comfortable. It's that slick material. So I feel like if you're a sweater like me, it's sweat wicking. <laughs> it's just open. It doesn't have a button. I think this is so cute. If you're wanting to kind of style up your outfit, it also has a button up here. So you can roll these up and actually button it if you wanted to. I think this is so cute. This is great for me for when I need to go to, into the office, but I don't want to be uncomfortable. I could wear like a dress with this over it or wear, you know, a pair of work pants, which is like a tank top and wear this. This would also look cute with like denim jeans. That would be such a cute combination as well with the black booties. I, I love this jacket. I'll try to give you like a more up close. It is thinner material, so it's not going to get too hot. You're not going to be like sweating your booty off. Again, if you want to put the sleeves down, you can. They're a little flowier, so they're not like sticking to the end of your hands. And if you go like this, they still stay good with your wrists. Because I hate when you go like this and then like your whole shirt goes like this. <laughs> I love this. I think this is so cute, so sleek, but it's not super hot and you could dress it up, dress it down. I think this is such a good like fall piece. What is that called? Like their capsule closet. I think if you're like a capsule closet girl, this would be a good item because it just would go with anything. You could dress it up or dress it down. I'm, I'm just in love. <laughs> but that's it for today's fall haul, you guys. Here are all these beautiful pieces that I showed you today. I truly love everything. I got to pick stuff out and I didn't know what to pick because I'm like, but I want it all. So will I be buying more clothes with my own discount code? <laughs> you betcha. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And thank you Cupshe for sponsoring this part of, portion of today's video. Here's my discount code. Please use it, get some money off. And just know that all of these pieces are super affordable. Um, a lot of these pieces were in the thirties, twenties. So I just think they're so affordable and so sleek, such good quality, super cute. And we're gonna look good this fall is all I have to say. So breakfast is gonna be 184 calories and four points. I used 15 grams of these peanut butter clusters. I have my Faye Greek yogurt, the 0% with one Splenda mixed in. I know there's better um, sweeteners that are better for you, blah, blah, blah. But I just have a whole box of these. So I'm just gonna use these up, listen expensive times, you know, we're using up what we have. I did, like I said, 15 grams of this granola, which I'm going to add on here. I already weighed out all of my, um, berries and everything as well. So I'm going to add those in, which are zero on Weight Watchers, but you know, calorie wise, you do have to count them. And I mix this all up, but it just looks so cute for the pick when you just have them like this. So this is going to be my breakfast. Again, 184 calories and four points packed with protein, um, which I'm really excited about because this has, I think, what is it? 16 grams of protein. And then this has five grams, so like 2.5. So I have like 18, almost 20 grams of protein in here, which is great for my breakfast. And I'm going to eat this up. I'm the aftermath. <laughs> I just broke down all of these boxes to recycle today. I'm like tired, um, but we're about to go take a little walk ski. Um, it's actually cold out today, guys, enough to wear a coat. So there's that, but let's take a walk. Maybe like a couple miles. I just need to keep my legs loose because since I'm working out five times a week, 
trying to do Monday through Friday. Um, you know, it's a change for my body. But I just kind of want to get on like a cadence of doing five times a week, Monday through Friday. So then my weekends I could do like leisurely walk if I want to go hike with my friends or like, you know, whatever. Um, but Monday through Friday, I kind of like get up at the same time every day, do my routine, like so it becomes a habit, you know? So that's what I'm doing. And like I said, like on Wednesday, I was sore and I just didn't work as hard and that's okay, you know? But as long as I'm there, I'm still working, I'm still trying to get it in. And even when I'm on my period, like I go in with the thought of like, I'm not gonna be working as hard. And if my body feels like energetic, I do. If it doesn't, I take it easy and I don't care. <laughs> you know, it's like you get used to the coaches, you get used to your gym and you're just like, this is what's happening today. So sorry about your luck. Anyways, we're gonna walk. Let's start our watch. Starting the watch here. And I think we'll walk maybe a couple more miles. Okay, I am actually starving right now all of a sudden. So I'm gonna have this. This is a factor meal. It's home style ground beef and chive potato mash. 500 calories and has 26 grams of protein. Um, so I'm going to heat this up and I'll let you know how it is. I don't know what it is on Weight Watchers. I'll let you guys know once I scan it in. Um, I don't know if I'll have to maybe put in the nutritional stuff. I'm not sure. So we'll see, but I'm heating this up now. <laughs> I am all of a sudden just starved. <laughs> it's so weird. Actually 15 points on Weight Watchers. I had to put it in as a new meal. Um, so 15 points and 500 calories and we're going to try it. I may add a little ketchup to this, but you guys know I don't count ketchup, but hot. What I have realized is the sodium is obviously higher the sodium in this is 880 milligrams, which isn't great. That's probably why it's high also in points. Um, but it's just a quick, easy meal, you know, and these are fresh. So they do make them fresh like the week that they send them to you. But um, anyways, I'm just, you know, trying to help myself get my protein in and, you know, work on one thing at a time here. But cheers. This is so good. Mm. Amazing. Okay, I'm having a little snack. It's six points and 189 calories. I just did 44 grams of my uh, roasted red pepper hummus and then 22 grams of some pretzel crisps. And I'm just gonna eat this up. I'm excited. Okay, 312 calories and seven points. I have like a little feta, arugula, spinach salad over here with avocado, feta cheese, blueberries, red onion, and some of this 60 calorie, simply 60 balsamic. And then some avocado, obviously. I don't know if I said that. And then for my sandwich, I have some board, like one slice of boar's head roast beef, two slices of the turkey, one of these 50 calorie wraps, and then some mustard. And that's gonna be a little dinner. And then I think I might do a serving of this. Um, I've eaten like three of them right now, but I might just put a little bit of for crunch on the side. Walk number two, because it's just so dang nice out. I just love it. I also need to just walk to my mailbox because the mail lady came, or mailman, I'm not sure who. We have both, so I just want to see if I got any mail. I did get um, some of my clothes I ordered from JCPenney. Uh, I just ordered like a couple like workout hoodies or like hoodies to wear over my clothes when I go work out. So I'm excited for that. But yeah, I'm just gonna walk. I'll probably walk a mile or two. Cause it's just so nice. I don't have plans tonight. And yeah. Continuing my walk, I got this in the mail. Such a cute little like fanny pack. I got it from Paige Collective. If you've been here a while, you know I've worked with them before. Um, they're sold out right now, but she's trying to restock. I got this one and the white one, but I didn't get the white one in yet, but it's so cute. It's like a little fanny pack that you know you can put around your shoulder if you want. So I'm gonna continue walking and then we gotta go to Giant Eagle to get Vampire Vodka. I just wanna get it tonight. It's for me and my friend tomorrow. I know I've already mentioned that. So 
I'm excited, but I just want to go ahead and get it tonight so I don't have to like rush after work, go get that, then go over, you know, I'd just rather have it. So it's red, <laughs> it's like red vodka. So I hope I can find it because then I can look more spooky or like Halloween-y, you know? But we're gonna walk another mile or so and then we'll go. All right, we're heading to Giant Eagle and then we're gonna stay at home and chill because we have been working, working out, running errands, like all the things today and we're tired. I walked like two and a half miles on top of orange syrup today. We're saying that that's good enough. Um, and then I just have my workout tomorrow morning and then I have the weekend off of working out, which I'm going to probably get some walks in this weekend, but I'm trying really hard. I know I've said this, I think already, but I'm just trying really hard to do Monday through Friday, orange theory. So then my weekends are free. I have no excuses. You know what I mean? Because I've had all five of my workouts in already. Obviously, if something happens, I can skip the week and go on the weekend, but it's just nice to do them in the morning. And I don't get up super early. I go to the 7.30 class to 8, 8.15, get home. Literally, the class always ends at like 8.05 and then they stretch. So I get home by like 8.10. I shower, get ready. I'm done by 8.20 and then I'm on my laptop by 8.30. So it works out really nicely. And then... Since I work from home, if I have to log on later or get more stuff done, I just do it. And that's what's working well for me. So that's what I'm gonna do. Then plus if I do have like any plans Monday through Friday, it's just really nice because I already have my workout done, you know? So, and then I know I'm signed up for the next day and it's not so early that I'm like, oh, I can't go tomorrow. It's like literally, 30 minutes before I would normally wake up anyways naturally so yeah it works out so anyways almost a giant eagle let's see if they have this vodka and if they don't then regular vodka it is which would be kind of sad because I wanted it to be cool um and I googled and it said it's at the giant eagle so I'll keep you posted So I had gone to the store looking for vampire vodka. They didn't have it, but they did have this other flavored vodka from Trulies. So it's kind of like a reddish tint. So I was like, okay, that'll work. And then instead of, I got the simple syrup that I need. And then instead of uh, strawberries, I decided there's these alcohol spiked cherries that I could put in this and then mix that with the cherry limeade or the club soda. There's like, supposed to be like a little simple syrup, some lemon juice, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. So anyways, just have that. That's what I'm gonna kind of put together for me and her for tomorrow. I'm so glad I got that out of the way so I don't have to worry about it. I'm just gonna put everything in this bag. So I just bring this bag with me tomorrow and we will be good to go. Also just wanted to show you real quick the stuff I got. So obviously I got this cute little bag from Page Collective. And then let's see what I got in the mail. I have no idea. Oh, I ordered this dress. I don't know if I want it anymore, but I ordered this like t-shirt dress that I thought would come in a lot earlier and it didn't. So it's just like a bait, like, you know, I could wear this next year if I wanted or wear it this year with like high boots and like a blazer or something. But I just thought it was like a cute neutral color. And at the time it was kind of warm out, like the in-between. So I thought that with a jean jacket or a blazer would be cute. But it took forever to get in. And then from JCPenney, they had a sale. I'm trying to see if I can link them. I don't know if they're on sale still. There are these like active wear hoodies and they kind of sit up above your pants and there's like a really nice black color super soft and they're originally 46 dollars and then this one is like an off-white kind of neutrally kind of color 
super, super soft. So I thought those were really, really cute. So I snatched those, but I was obsessed with this. Like the color, everything. I wore this in the store and I just wear them up like, like this. It looks cuter when you're wearing like active wear, but whatever. But yeah, so that's what I got. Uh, I obviously already ate dinner. I have another like room for like a snack later or a dessert. Um, I'm just gonna drink my water for now. I feel very full still. Um, maybe I'll try out my cocktail and that'll be like my dessert because I kind of want to see if I do what they said to do in this recipe. Is it taste good? Because I do have strawberries here. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. I will link these down below, the black and this one. They are the softest things ever to touch my body. So cute. You can't tell because my shorts are high-waisted, but they come up like right to the end of your belly. Um, so they're like cropped, but not super cropped. And then you can obviously like fluff them up so that they're shorter, but oh my gosh, it's so soft. So cute. So fetch. Oh, look at my. In my hip now. Am I where all the cool kids are doing? Ah! Cute. No, I'm not wearing shorts right now in the winter. Well, in the fall. I just took off my leggings because they were too restrictive. And we're not going back outside, are we, bud? No, we're not. So I'm going to have two of these for 100 calories and three points. Um, they're cheese sticks. And what's really nice is, um, again, they have six grams of protein per cheese stick. So that's 12 additional grams, which I'm here for. Honestly, getting enough protein in is so hard for me. I can always hit like 60 grams of protein a day, but I'm, I'm basically supposed to do more than double of that. Technically, like I'm trying 110 per day to start to try to incorporate like working my meals and snacks around protein. But like for me, it's so hard to get all this protein in. Um, but I'm working hard at it and it is keeping me fuller for longer, but then it's even harder to eat more like as the amount I'm supposed to eat because I'm so full from the protein. Um, but now that I'm working out a lot more, I feel like it is helping because it's helping move things along, helping to rev my system. Bubby loves string cheese. So he's patiently waiting for his piece. But uh, just to tell you, like, if you're like me and it's hard to get protein in, like, make a smaller goal and then keep going up and up. Like, I'm trying 100, and, 100 grams to 110 grams at first, and that's what my goal is. And if I hit 100, awesome. If I hit 90 or 96, okay, I'm good. You know, I'm just trying to better myself, and it's hard to just go from, like, 60 grams of protein a day to 150 grams of protein. I don't even know how to get that much protein in my day, you know? So um, I'm trying to figure it out. I know cheese sticks have 6 grams, 6 grams. I'm trying to find things that have more grams of protein that I can incorporate in my meals and stuff. Um, like, right now, this wouldn't have been my snack of choice. I would have been like, oh, I'll grab some more pretzels, or should I get some chips? And it's like, no, grab something with protein. It's just funny. It like does change the whole way you think about food because you're like, no, I can't have a snack unless there's protein involved with it. Like when you're trying to do that. But anyways, I digress. I'm going to eat these two. Ollie's going to get a little bit of one as well. And um, yeah, then we'll see. I think I still have a couple hundred calories left for the day. So I'm going to have to figure something out. I wish I need to figure out a way to make protein. I know I can look it up like protein ice cream, like a dessert protein. I know I can make pancakes, that type of stuff, but I'm really wanting like my Cool Whip, which maybe I can put some protein powder in my Cool Whip. Maybe that's what I'll do, but I want like my Cool Whip with my uh, cookie dough for dessert. Fire. Anyways, I'm eating these and watching TV. Okay, I'm gonna try to make like a milkshake of sorts um, with some almond milk, a little bit of the Cool Whip for like an ice cream type of situation, some PB2, and then some actual peanut butter protein. And then um, maybe add some of these cookie doughs in there. I don't know, I'm gonna try to figure it out and mix it all together and then I'll tell you all what I use, but I feel like I need to sit here figure out the like the points and calories, what can I fit in, blah, blah, blah. And then if I get used to doing this, I'll actually show you on camera. 
Okay, I haven't figured out the calories or points yet, but I'm using four tablespoons of Cool Whip, um, a half a cup of almond milk, one tablespoon of PB2, a half a scoop of protein powder, which is peanut butter flavored from 1UP, and then 14 grams of cookie dough. I have seven grams outside of it and seven grams in here. So I'm gonna mix this up and just see how this turns out. <laughs> okay, it's super watery. <laughs> But I feel like I could freeze it, but maybe not. I don't know. So I'm going to eat those as a snack on the side, but I'm going to drink this and see if I like it. That's really good. I was going to use Greek yogurt, but I don't want to use all my Greek yogurt in one day type of thing. This is good. Super sweet. I'll put, I'll let you know here in a second. I'm going to put this all on my tracker. So it's five points and 149 calories. And it's really, really good. It's sweet. It does taste like a good milkshake. So I'm just going <laughs> to, I drank some of it already, but I'm just going to drink this up. Um, next time I definitely, I don't know. I would need like a frozen banana or something, you know, to really get this going. But I don't have any bananas right now to like really thicken it up, you know but it still tastes really good and it's hitting the sweet spot, so whatever. <laughs> okay though, but this is so good. I need to make this after my workout. I do have obviously my um, Alani New Shakes, but this is so freaking sweet, like milkshake. Adding that little bit of Cool Whip and then the PB2 powder, like I don't even think I'd have to add those cookie dough bites. Um, I could add like some Lily's chocolate chips or something but oh my gosh i'm actually loving this now like i could make it thicker yeah i could make it whatever but if i just want to make like a protein shake that's like frothy oh my gosh it's so sweet it's so good last snack before i go to bed 180 calories and six points for a fourth a cup of these roasted whole cashews i ended the night on 1,651 calories. And then I'll put up on the screen how many points because I literally forget, honestly. Um, but 109 grams of protein. So I almost hit my 110 goal. So proud of myself. And I'm a little under my calorie goal, which I need to start eating like, maybe I'll eat a couple more of these at the end of the night, I don't know. But I need to start eating like one more snack during the day to kind of really make it at night. Because when you're at home and you're eating healthier foods, you know what I mean? It's so much harder to eat all those calories. If I went out and got a McDonald's sandwich, you know, it'd be like, oh, there's half my calories right there. So it's a learning curve for me, but I'm trying. And I'm proud of myself for hitting almost my 110 goal. I'm only one gram away. If I have like two more of these, I'll hit it. So Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't, because it really helps support my channel. I post every Monday and Thursday. Don't forget to check out Cupshe. Use my code D15 for 15% off. And I'm just really excited to be working with them again. And when you guys do want stuff and you do buy it with my code, it just shows them that I'm a good investment, you know? Obviously, if you don't want anything, totally fine. But if you do, make sure you use my code for not only a discount, but to support me. And you guys support me all the time. So it's like literally, I'm just so, I feel so thankful and so lucky. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.